Hello booktube and welcome to another Friday and that means Friday reads and this is the last Friday of October I can't believe that we're um, grinding to the end of the year next Friday will be the fifth Guy Fox day so for what I've been doing reading last week um, it's well in October I generally or in the past uh, decade or more I devote or try to devote um, October with ghost stories for a big part and a little bit of horror this month um, not so much uh, ghost stories as I, I read last year but I still did a few and uh, but it's mostly horror uh, slash ghost this past uh, week, I read for, which is going to be a video out tomorrow uh, that I'll, I'll post on my book, The Film, and it was on The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. This is the uh, copy of the original um, edition of the story, and then he changed it for a 40th anniversary uh, and he changed a lot of dialogue. He added actually a scene uh, but, uh, it was interesting. Um, I'd come into it basically from seeing the film a long time ago, like several times. And I'd always enjoyed the film, The Exorcist. And so I thought, well, this, this will fit in nicely with October, uh, to do, to do it as, and then finally get around as an excuse to read the book. And I did have the book. So... But I was very disappointed in it. Um, uh, Peter Blatty is a very poor writer, uh, stylist. Uh, a, I don't know where the editors were for these books because, uh, you know, I'm not the greatest uh, with uh, grammar. But I saw glaring, like, atrocities uh, with grammar in this. And I'm not just talking uh, people, uh, the dialogue. His dialogue is not very good either. But even in, in the, in the uh, narration, narration of the story, it's just that the grammar at times is just atrocious. Um, but, um, and he's, he's all over the place. Uh, he, he's, as, as I did supplementary reading, like while I was reading the book, well, what I did was, I read basically a chapter or two from this, depending on the length, and then I read a chap the same chapter in here, and I was sort of comparing those. So eventually, I got to a point where I was making little notes, uh, um, uh, you know, with with pencil and you know noting the differences and so forth. Um, and at times it was excruciating to read uh, areas, but then there were there, there were bits that were very very good. Um, the second, uh, which chapter is it? Um, it's the chapter that's devoted to uh, Father Karras. Um, is it? It's a very short. Yeah, it's chapter two, I guess, of the first section. Um, yeah, it's it's quite quite a short chapter, but in like about six or seven pages. Well, not even that. One, two, three, four, five, five pages. I thought he did really well with uh, describing the character, like showing everything you really need to know with the character. Because once you learn more things about uh, the character, you can you can go back to this chapter and go, yeah, he he visualized this in the scenes. However, um, he's he's not very good with continuity, and I'm using that in the sense of film where where uh one thing happened and then all of a sudden, like for instance somebody says something is going to do something or or put something on and then in the next scene they're wearing something different or did doing something different he does this all the time in here not so much with wearing things but where somebody says something that this is going to happen and then all of a sudden it doesn't and it's like it, it's frustrating and um, his his jump cuts to things that work in film, where you can you can have a scene and then bang, you're into another scene somewhere else, and and because the the way the scene, you know, you know where you are visually, but 
in writing you need a little more either either space or other things like connecting things and because so many times like i'm reading along i'm reading 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 and i like, wait a minute whoa then i gotta go back oh he was there and now he's here you know like basically from one sentence he's in new york city then the next sentence uh, in the same paragraph he's back in georgetown and it's like boom it's just doesn't work in in writing I know he's beloved writer for everybody, but yeah, it's there, there's enough stuff in here that it just but but it, there's enough stuff that makes it an interesting story, and and I I, I did enjoy it. So let let's put it that way, uh, and I'll talk more about uh, the 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 story and the the film uh, in my book the film video. Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll sort of leave the the novel at, at that point. Um. And then I, because of the film, uh, I, I read this uh, BFI film classics, The Exorcist by Mark Commode. Uh, interesting cover. Uh, and it's actually pretty good. Mark Commode is, you know, a big fan of the film. I'm not so, so much sure regarding the book, but the film, which I can understand, the, the film is, uh, that directed by William Friedkin is very good for many reasons. And he does sort of like a textuality, um, analysis at times through it. And it's, it's, it's very, it's very good. It's very good. Um, uh, there's almost, uh, like you, you, you can see the energy that he has because he, he is, he's a big fan of the film. Uh, and then also too, uh, while I was doing things, I was, I was perusing and reading. I didn't read it from cover to cover, but here's the script of The Exorcist. That's Linda Blair uh, being possessed on the cover, uh, and this is the script that was written by uh, uh, William uh, Peter Bellati. And uh, yeah, it's it's interesting to compare, like uh, to look at the dialogue in in the books uh and in in the uh or in the yeah when i say books because there are differences that he made changes from the from the original to the 40th anniversary uh he, he rewrote it uh to to a large extent um and yeah the, and and it's sort of you know comparing the dialogue that's in here which is better than in in the book and then at times you know the differences into the film uh i also had this book that i've had for a while and i still got a little bit to read on this but uh i've sort of been read out uh, about the exorcist for the moment um is it's called the exorcist uh out of the shadows the full story of the film by bob mccabe uh, published by Omnibus Press in London, um, 1999, and the author is a big fan, and he he based a lot of information. Uh, speaking to Mark Commode, and Mark Commode had um, done a lot of interviews, uh, audio and and uh, video uh, interviews with everybody connected that he could find uh, with the film. And um, so it's it's kind of interesting to, to see this, and that's where like you know there there's there's some uh, video, I'm not video, but uh, um, transcripts of a few things, and with regards to Blatty, what he was trying to do, and the conflicts that he had with the studio, uh, with selecting a a um, a director, and then with the director himself. So that is for the most part, other than I, I, I had slipped in a, a number of short stories, uh, ghost short stories for, uh, for, um, uh, for, for, for my ghost month, even though I've read sort of two novels that were ghost stories and then uh, two sort of horror novels. I split that up uh, this way this month. But I did read uh, and reread a number of short stories, a couple M.R. James, but usually I re reread uh, M.R. James every two years. But uh, I did uh, I did uh, read uh, reread a couple as well as going back to um, I don't have it here. It's on it's on the shelf. 
there's just not too much place to put anything anymore here around me until I get this sorted. Uh, but uh, it's the Oxford um, book of ghost stories. There's a Victorian and then uh, a 20th century one. And I've also been uh, looking at this uh, for um, my, um, well, for, for next month, uh, for November is uh, New World's November. So this is the Oxford book of science fiction uh, stories. And I've been rereading a few things, trying to find a few things that will fit in and yeah um this is it's, it's, this is a pretty good collection this is a pretty good pretty good collection so that basically has been my reading week uh next week will be uh devoted mostly to well the whole month is is devoted to uh the new new world's november uh, I've I've got a lineup for next week anyway. I'll be I'll be reading um, Who Goes There by uh, Don A. Stewart uh, with the pseudonym of John W. Campbell, and uh, and I've got two versions of that. There's the published version, and then uh, recently in his papers uh, they had found an extended version that has I think about another six or sixteen pages that uh, I'll be reading as well and I'll that's sort of that's the film uh, for my book the film because I'll be watching the uh, 1950 51 uh, film uh, the thing and so oh, I might if I if I have time I might watch the 1982 John Carpenter Ken Russell version as well which I, I like both but in different ways um, and then also there'll be a number of other stories that I'll be reading, but the, the, the first week is aliens. So I'll, I'll be reading that. And there, there's, uh, um, uh, uh, what is it? Edward Hamilton. I got his name, right. Um, story, uh, from 1929 about aliens. And then I'll be reading a Clifford Simak novella called the creator. That's from 1935. Um, and a religious sort of, uh, and it was considered blasphemous. So, but yeah, that that's sort of what I'll be doing next week, and uh, I'll I'll I'm gonna try to fill in a few other things as well, but for the most part, for the month is going to be uh, science fiction, and then um, yeah, so there's there's my Friday reads, and I hope everybody's doing well, and everybody has a good weekend. Take care, book two.